Hello, how to evaluate with our calculator? We have 4 power 11 minus 2. Now, 4 is a perfect square, so you can express it as 2 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of 11, and we have minus 2. Now, if you have a to the power of n, this is raised to the power of n. This equals a power n times n. So we apply this same identity here. We are going to have 2 to the power of 2 times 11. That is 22 minus 2. Now, to find the value of 2 power 22 might be a bit difficult. So I can express it as 2 to the power of this is 20 plus 2, which is the same thing as 22. And we have minus 2. Now, if I have the value of a power n plus m, or if I have this identity, this equals a power n times a power m. So I apply this right here. I'm just going to have 2 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 2 minus 2. Now, from here, we can have this is 2 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Then we have minus 2. So we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 20. And for us to do that, we can express that as 2 to the power of this is 10 times 2. Then we have times 4 minus 2. So, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n all to the power of m. We apply this right here. That means we are going to have 2 to the power of 10 or to the power of 2 times 4, then we have minus 2. Let's go ahead and find the value of 2 to the power of 10. So I'm going to copy it down here, 2 to the power of 10. This equals 2 to the power of 5 times 2. And I can express it as 2 to the power of 5 or to the power of 2. So I can as well express it as 2 power 5, this is 32. To the power of 2. So this means 32 times what? 32. So you can multiply this out. 32 times 32. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 2, that is 6. Again, 3 times 3, 9. You add up. This will definitely give you 1, 0, 2, 4 because that is it. For those of you that know it, this is 12. 2 carry over 1 out here is 1, 0, 2, 4. So, we come over here. We replace the power 10 with 1, 0, 2, 4. Raised to the power of 2. Times 4. Minus 2. So right now, we need to find the value of 1, 0, 2, 4 power 2. I can express it as this is 1,000 plus 24. Raised to the power of 2 times 4 minus 2. For us to expand this, I can apply this identity if I have a plus b raised to the power of 2. This equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, in which this is my a and this is my b. So this would definitely give me. A squared, that is 1,000 squared, plus 2 times 1,000 times 24, plus 24 to the power of 2. So from here, I have 1,000 squared, that is 1,000 times 1,000, and that is 1 million, plus 2 times 1,000, that is 2,000, 2,000 times 24, that is 48,000 plus 24 squared, that is 24 times 24. That should give us 5, 7, 6. So let's add up this together. I can decide to add 48,000 plus 5, 7, 6. This is 4, 8, 5, 7, 6. Plus, I add it to 1 million. Add these two together, I'm going to have 1 million, 48,000. Five, seven, six. This is it.
This is the value for 2 to the power of 20. Yeah, 2 to the power of 20, like what we had earlier on. But it's also the value for 1024 to the power of 2. That means 2 to the power of 10 raised to the power of 2. That is the meaning. And that also means 2 to the power of 20. So what we are going to do next will be to multiply that by 4. Then we subtract 2 from it. And that will be our final answer. So we have 1048576 times 4 minus 2. So we multiply first before we subtract bottom mass. 4 times 6, that is 24. 4 carry over 2. 4 times 7, that is 20. 28 plus 2, that is 30. 0 carry over 3. 4 times 5, that is 20. 20 plus 3, that is 23. 3 carry over 2. 4 times 8, that is 32. 32 plus 2, that is 34, right? We have 4 and carry over 3. 4 times 4, that is 16. 16 plus 3, that is 19. So we have 9 and carry over 1. 4 times 0, 0, 0 plus 1, we have 1. 4 times 1, we have 4. So we have this 419430. Four. Then we are going to subtract two from that. So when once we subtract two from that, remember we can just have four minus two, so we have four one nine four three zero four minus two is two. This give us this. I mean this is about four million one hundred and ninety four thousand three hundred and two. And we have achieved this without a calculator or whatsoever for the value of 4 power 11 minus 2. So ladies and gentlemen, if you love this video, then you should consider subscribing. Go through the steps again, one after the other. And you are going to get something from this particular video. Drop a comment, share it to your friends, and don't forget to like. Always engage in my videos. I really appreciate that. Thank you and see you again.